Yeah, I'm still in the hotel. So we've, we've um, extended it for like three times or twice yesterday because I'm supposed I was supposed to leave at 420 this morning and then it that um, That flight got canceled then they pushed it back to the 7 p.m. Tonight supposedly and now since that flight got canceled. I'm now doing <laughs> Yeah, the morning flight tomorrow Okay, okay, so I'll, I'll take care of all that and I'll Okay, perfect. I'll be waiting for your email then. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks for all your help. No okay, have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good morning, folks. Welcome back to another spontaneous <laughs> vlog. As you can probably tell, we're starting this vlog inside my hotel room that's already been turned upside down because, again, I wasn't really expecting on vlogging this video for you but i thought this is an interesting vlog because of all the weather related irregular operations and i'm currently here in victoria bc i've been i would say stuck but i'm not complaining but i've been stuck here for about a day already we'll kind of have to rewind what exactly happened because i didn't vlog any of those so basically I was on day two of reserve and I was put on airport standby. So I was at the airport at around 7.30 in the morning yesterday. And if I did not get a call, then I'd be released at around 12.30. And by nine o'clock, I got a call from Cruisecat and they said that I will need to deadhead to Victoria because I will be operating the Head Start flight supposedly today to calgary and then they would deadhead me back from calgary back to vancouver so i was like okay sure um, at that time in vancouver it was not snowing but when we flew to victoria that's when the nasty weather kind of came in i flew on the smaller propeller aircraft that could hold about 78 passengers if i'm not mistaken 70 something passengers anyway we were trying to land into victoria but the weather was so bad like i could not even see on the side of my window like it was either foggy with some snow and um long story short they attempted twice and failed and so i was thinking okay we're probably gonna divert back to vancouver it is a 15 minute flight i think the fastest flight I've been on actually apart from us deadheading between the Hawaiian Islands I think this is one of the fastest plane rides I've ever been on and yeah so the pilots made an announcement and they said that they were gonna try one more time and if it became unsuccessful then we would just be diverting back to Vancouver either way I was just sitting there and just you know going with the flow if we diverted back to vancouver that meant that i can be home and um see my sister because we had this plan of meeting each other after my supposedly my airport standby but that didn't happen obviously i'm here in victoria anyway they tried for the third time and i think the third time's a charm so we landed safely here in victoria so when i got to the hotel obviously because this is such a late kind of notice the hotel and the shuttle arrangements weren't really there yet so i was calling i was in contact with cruise for about an hour not waiting but constantly you know back and forth with all of our conversations and long story short they got it figured out but i had to wait at the airport for another hour it is what it is um i understand how busy they must be as well dealing with other cancellations other delays and all that good stuff or bad stuff <laughs> um long story short i had to taxi my way to the hotel because the shuttle's not gonna come anytime soon and i was kind of tired just waiting there so they had me just take a taxi and expense it and have it reimbursed um it was all right now i'm here at the hotel so yesterday it was snowing so bad i wanted to just look around walk and just have some fresh air however it was snowing and obviously i didn't get to do that i stayed here inside the hotel room for pretty much the whole day which was good i got a bit of rest i took a nap i was 
up early because for a 7 30 a.m airport standby check-in i had to be up at like five or even earlier than that so originally i was supposed to operate the head start flight out of victoria to calgary this morning and then deadhead me home and i'll be finished by 10 30 in the morning supposedly now with the weather situation they had canceled that specific head start flight to calgary so i was like okay great now what <laughs> so i was just waiting for my schedule to be revised and sure enough they just had me deadhead back to vancouver out of victoria on the 10 30 flight i believe now that didn't happen obviously because that specific flight out of victoria got cancelled as well when i woke up this morning i'm like okay i guess i'm not going anywhere <laughs> anyway i did speak with crew scheduling and they had my hotel room extended for tomorrow and the shuttle pickup will be revised as well now at the moment i'll be doing head start flight back to calgary and then have me deadhead home um back to vancouver and i'll be done by around 10 30 or 11 if everything works that's um if they don't extend my reserve or my because i'm still technically on reserve if they don't extend my pairing that's an option i'd be getting home tomorrow or if no cancellations happen but that is pretty much a nutshell of what exactly happened here. So basically I'm doing the exact same thing that I was supposed to do originally, but not today, instead tomorrow. Uh, that's it, I think. It's currently 11 o'clock in the morning here. It stopped snowing. I'm seeing that it's still a little bit cloudy, but it's better than what it looked yesterday. So I might head out and get some fresh air, walk around, see what the day looks like, and then come back here quite early because we do have an early start tomorrow if, if i'm not mistaken my pickup my shuttle pickup will be at around 4 20 in the morning so it's an early early start but it's okay again this is part of this job the unknowns the surprises in a sense i'm still glad that i'm here at the hotel room i have a hotel room i'm not stuck at the airport somewhere it could be worse right so i'm thankful and i'm still blessed that i get to do this anyway uh that's it i might need some coffee and have a bit of a quick kind of like brunch breakfast we'll see how it goes anyway i'm gonna get dressed now i'll see you guys in a bit so this is my outfit for today simple this is by the way my uniform part of my uniform our coat but i didn't bring another coat that's a little bit thicker so i need this for the day i just like have the hood of my um sweater showing at the back so it's a little bit more discreet with regards to not trying to you know let people know that i'm in my uniform pretty much <laughs> anyway here we go I'm gonna try to find something to eat first. We'll see if we can find something on the way there. And then, yeah, let's go check out the parliament. So I have been here to Victoria numerous times in the past. I think the last one was probably when we cruised Alaska. all the way to the parliament. I'm gonna enjoy
enjoy my coffee here before I head back to the hotel. It's such a pretty good day. It's a little bit cloudy, but I mean, the sun is out, so. Hello, I am back here in the room. It was such a beautiful day just being able to walk around downtown and the sun was out. Although we can see a little bit of like patch of like clouds, but it was still such a good, good day. It's currently 2.30 in the afternoon. I will probably not take a nap because if I do, I know I'm gonna have a hard time sleeping tonight as I do have an early start tomorrow, so I have to be in bed probably at around eight o'clock this evening or even earlier we'll aim for that um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and probably watch one movie if anything and prep for work tomorrow we'll see if i do make it out of victoria tomorrow and if i ever get home tomorrow so fingers crossed Alright folks, it is almost 5.30 in the afternoon. I had some DoorDash delivery here because I was craving for like a bubble tea, but this is something different. Normally I go for like the regular milk tea, but I saw this and I'm like, that looks really, really good. So I'm gonna give this a try. It's basically like a cream, like the salty cream Oreo matcha drink, if anything. Anyway, I got that and I was also craving for some takoyaki, so there you go. Not a lot, but I do have some of my food that I packed from home. So let's go have some early dinner here while we watch this movie. Mm. That's good. Mm. Folks, that is it for today. I am actually getting ready for bed. It's almost eight o'clock in the evening and I need to be up. I would say at around 2.30, three o'clock, something like that. Um, so I better get to bed. I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully everything works as planned, but fingers crossed. Have a good night. You can probably see I'm all dressed and kind of ready to go I'm gonna pack my camera now I have everything ready and just a quick update by the way I woke up to another crew scheduling alarm and I'm apparently operating the last leg which will be Calgary to Vancouver now instead of me deadheading so We'll see how this goes. Fingers crossed they don't extend me when I get back to Vancouver so I can have the rest of the day off. But with these unknown reserve duties, you kind of don't know what's gonna happen until you actually get there and you get released. So we'll see how this goes. So for now I'm doing two legs, Victoria to Calgary and Calgary back to Vancouver. <laughs> Okay folks, I am back here in Vancouver. It is kind of cold. I'm glad that the snow kind of melted already. Um, yeah, I did not get any extension, which is 
amazing. I'm gonna meet up with my sister later this afternoon. I get to spend some time with her. And then I have one more day of reserve AM tomorrow, which I know I'll get called for. So I'm just mentally prepping myself. So much for accompanying me on another layover vlog slash reserve vlog. If you did enjoy this vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course hit the notification bell so you'll get an update as soon as I have uploaded a video. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. See you soon.